in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. They called film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Don't ever touch me again, freak. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now, hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I should I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Bunny? Here, nosh on this.
Let me see which classes I won't be attending this week. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? Does this have something to do with why you got suspended yesterday? Tell me the truth. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time, going through her shit. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Here they are getting loaded with Satan.
That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's Secret, she's a geek. Well, well, Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Well, well, Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Victoria is about as straight as me, but she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. <sighs> Nothing to see here. Those boots are made for walking runways. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Look at the lens and say, nut. Gotcha. Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm head. toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. I know, I have a set of keys on me. Max the Ninja strikes again. Ah, got Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. 
My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. I mean, I even got my own dumbass suspended. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? You're suspended anyway, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. 
If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Stepshit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Only three.
three more items to go. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. I never said they were great, troll. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you- Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that- I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. There's got to be something I can use here. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair.
now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. <laughs> that was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Get this bastard open. She can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Just please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. You're not so tacky up close. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go.
Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Look everywhere, Matt. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you.
We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? Even if I'm suspended. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? The wit, it burns. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions.
There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Time to do or dive, Max. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah! I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. your power on getting busted. My power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Sir, hey! hey. Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car!
always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. No, you don't. You're suspended, criminal. Nobody suspended my homework. If I don't turn it in, the school will contact my folks again. And Max gets in more trouble. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. When everything is lonely, I can be my own best friend. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. At least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I might as well start blazing if I was dumb enough to get suspended for weed. Nice. Chloe put my pic on her phone. I must have proved I was worthy again. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. And I'm not sure what the trouble was. I don't think I'll be washing today. The reasons 
If I stayed hidden, no way would I have been suspended. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it's... Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. This might be the one time these people are right. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! I keep expecting to see the sky turn red.
three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I wonder how these birds died. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Now for the mother's milk. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Famous for this? Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean.
I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Nothing in it. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here.
Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Magic 8-Ball says no. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. 
Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitchin' 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... you know who know what's. 
Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. So ominous. Nope, I don't want to go there. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first.
What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet bitch. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet bitch. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <sighs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet bitch. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Rachel! Uh, 
Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet bitch. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. I don't want to go that way. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Kidding me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm such a hero that Principal Wells suspended me. Thanks to David Madsen and the Prescotts. No way. That is total bullshit. Well, maybe we should get a petition going. No worries. It's done. Besides, now I have an excuse to take a lot of photos this week. Maybe we could take a picture to Kate as a gift. Hey, I have to go, but let's talk later. Nope, I don't want to go there. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I 
hack his computer for info. I doubt Frank is trying out for Frank is almost a maid. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Zip, not a nothing. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers Dakota ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. How can somebody live like this? This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in France? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Crepes. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young.
So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I know I've seen those pictures before. I'll let her know that. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags Whoa. of delicious... Whoa! It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever! So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Score! Like real cook here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Hello? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whale. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an ex... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. 
Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! <laughs>